axonometric junior shirt 2013 higher level. The first part of the question you're asked to do is to draw the axonometric axis. The second part of the question is draw the elevation at 15 degrees. The third part of the question is draw the plan at 45 degrees. You're also given this 3D graphic of the solid. Now the fourth part of the question is draw the isometric view using axonometric projection. So if we look for the isometric view of this red surface, that's the elevation of it there. If we want to find that red surface in isometric, we project the points up and project these points in at 30 degrees. To do that, draw down at 30 degrees from the elevation and draw vertically from the plan. And now join those points. And that's the isometric view of surface one. Go for surface three next. Surface three is there and in elevation, that's it. So project the points down from the elevation again at 30 degrees and vertically up from the plan. And where those points, points intersect, that's the platform we're looking for there. Surface four is the next surface we're taking, which is the top piece here. So again, project the points in at 30 degrees. Draw up from the plan. One, two, three, and four. Now, get the points at the end here. Project in these points and vertically up and join those points. That's the end there. So that's it lined in. Join those points now to get the sloping side there. Now we're looking at the circle here. I've divided the circle up into three equal parts and numbered them one, two, three. I've drawn them back in at 30 degrees. Now with a template, I take those measurements onto the template and transfer them up to the elevation and number them again and draw them vertically down. And now project in those points, bring the points up from the plan and follow the points now. Point zero is there. Point one is on this line. So up from the plan, that's point one. Point two now, follow, that's it on that line there. So project it up from the plan where the two intersect. That gets you point number two. Point three is on this line and that's where the two meet. That gets you point three and that's the curve now. Get the bottom points in a similar manner. Bring them up, but bring down the bottom points here. zero again and bring down the bottom points point one at the bottom is this line and bring up from the plan that gets you point one point two again the bottom one brought down and the from the plan up gets point two and point three then is the very bottom of the piece brought up and that gets you the lines now to get the circles on the face of the piece Again, we have divided the circle into three equal parts. Uh, we have numbered them and with the template again, taken these distances, mark them on the template, bring them down to the plan, mark them along this line here, and then index them and draw them back to get the points at the back. Now we bring up the points and in at 30 degrees from the elevation. Now, if we take point zero, zero's on this line, and bring in this line from the elevation, and the two intersect. Now, it's 
superimposing on top of the plan, but you will see the points. Point two. Point three. And that's that part of the curve done. So now we're on to the other part of the curve, which is the point three again on the other curve. Two. And one. And zero then. And that's the two curves lined in. Now to get the back curve. We bring the back points up here. So draw vertically up from the points in the plan. We have already drawn them in from the elevation. So now follow them in zero at the back here, brought up, get your point zero. Point one, again, brought up and brought down at 30 degrees, point one. Point two, Point three, and that's axonometric junior chart 2013 higher level complete.